I'm doing some pre-building of the plumbing system for the tankless hot water heater. And that pre-building is this shutoff assembly here. So what I wanted to do or accomplish with this is that I have a shutoff valve on one end and a shutoff valve on the other and a shutoff valve in the middle. That's three shutoff valves. And the reason why is that I want to be able to drain the tank in the winter or at least have that option available without having to have water leaking everywhere in my closet. So I'm creating what is called a bypass. And so I'm going to bypass the entire system. So what I'll do is I'll shut off the, the main going into the system and I'll shut off the exit. And then I have a, a T situation here where it's going to open up and it's just going to bypass the entire system. What I want to do is actually pre-build it before I even put it on the wall. So I'm going to actually have it all together assembled and then I'm just going to stick it on the wall, clamp it, and then I'm going to have my measurements on where I want this to be and I'm going to cut uh, the PEX pipe to fit it accordingly. I got wall hangers today for conduit, so this is a conduit hanger. Um, I'm going to use this to actually hang the, um, the PEX pipe to the studs in the wall just to give it a little bit more stability. Once I get it all put together, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is, this is just part of the process and it's taken a couple days. All right, so here we go. Okay, so I now have my bypass created, and what you're going to see is literally um, the inlet water is here, the outlet water is here, I shut off these two valves, and the water, and I open up this one, and it travels this way, and ignores the rest of the loop. Um, this is so I can uh, prepare the uh, tankless hot water heater for, um, for winter to drain it, uh, since I'll be using the wood cook stove to heat my domestic hot water. Uh, during the really, really cold months, which they said that that tankless water heater has uh, trouble with freezings or freezing. So we're just going to um, start to hang this on the wall. Um, I had to cut a hole in the wall to access the uh, PEX pipe that's in the wall. And this tool is really great if you're working at a, a perpendicular to your hookup. So if I have something like this in the wall and I'm coming out, that's fine. But as soon as something's in the wall and I have to do a perpendicular, I can't get into the wall to get that perpendicular. So there is a um, solution to it, and it's not cheap, but you can buy one of these, um, oh, uh, it's kind of self-sealing, self-grabbing uh, shark bite connectors. And this is a right angle, so I'm going to just put it on there like that, push the PEX pipe right in there. It should lock on itself. And then I will just go ahead and build the pipe off of that once I get out of the wall. So that's kind of helping for those tight spots uh, to be able to get out of the wall and uh, start plumbing. Mm -hmm. 